right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call, powered by FanDuel Sportsbook. Good evening, everyone, and welcome inside the Fan Cave, where we like to talk sports with you. Bob Pompiani, Andrew Filipponi with you tonight. Let us know what you uh, have to think about a lot of items on Twitter if you want. It's at KD Pomp at the Pony Express. And Andrew, it was a walk off like none I've seen before with Mike Tomlin. Uh, <laughs> I had a press conference at the end. He got the question I'm sure he was waiting for. He took it, he answered it with a lot of finality, and then he left. Um, I thought it was interesting to see it all play out, and it puts to rest uh, speculation that was yeah. out there. Yeah, I think the biggest thing to me now, looking back on it a few hours, you know, it happened at noon today, Bob, you were a part of it. You always do such a good job, you know, setting the scene for these uh, press conferences. Thank you, sir. CW here. <laughs> You're welcome. I mean it. Um, I think the big thing is why was Tomlin so offended by this? You know, it's one thing for there to be speculation from – some credible sources, you know, Carson Palmer's working with USC. We don't know how big of a role, but he's linked to the program, not just as a famous alum, but, you know, he acted on Dan Patrick's show like he had given away company secrets when he brought Tomlin's name up. You know, Doug Whaley obviously worked over with the Steelers and knows Tomlin and knows the dynamics over there well. But I was just really blown away by how ticked off Tomlin was by this. You know, I think in a way it's flattering. I mean, it's really people in the know. This is a guy that could have great success in both pro football and in college football. But I think he took it like you're pretty much saying I've plateaued or I've peaked as an NFL coach and I need to go to the college game to either scratch some kind of itch or, you know, make it to the next level. I think that's why he brought up Sean Payton and Andy Reid's names because I think Tomlin feels like those are the coaches that are probably closest to him yeah, in the NFL coaching hierarchy. And, and, yeah, and talk about yeah, he didn't tenure. say Belichick because Belichick's got six Super Bowls. Right. You know what and, I mean? And, like he's exactly. not going to put himself in that class. How many years does Peyton have? Same yeah. as Tomlin, right? Reid has more yeah. than that. Those but guys I mean, have been around for a long I, time. Like I just, you know, I just, I, I disagree with this. I don't think that every college job is worse than every NFL job. I just don't believe that. I mean, if you do that across college sports and pro sports, well, then that would mean that every NBA job was better than Duke. And Krzyzewski should have left for an NBA job a long time ago. Or that, you know, guys would be better off coaching the New York Jets than Alabama football. And the pay scales don't back that up, Bob. You know, if every NFL head coach made more money than every college coach, well, then that would be cut and dried, black and white, but we know that's not right. the way it works. And some guys like that in college, you control everything. I mean, what did people always say about Joe Paterno? He was the most powerful guy on that campus. Not just the most powerful person in the athletic department, the entire university. Right. And there are some coaches that are so egotistical that they like that part of what, uh, that that's a, attracts them. To right. the college Nick Saban game. So currently has that situation, and I, I just think Mike Tomlin's not one of those guys, though. He has a cushy job. He just signed an extension. Well, no He's doubt. probably one of the highest-paid guys ever. And the other thing is, he doesn't want to deal with all the recruiting situations you have Bob, to go through. I got, you know, I've, I've heard I, him talk about I, it and, before, and he just doesn't yeah, want to go through. And that. I, and I, and I, that's you know, I just to be honest or be clear, like I never thought or seriously you know, believe that Tomlin would ever leave the Steelers for one of those jobs. He's, mm -hmm. The Steelers are never going to fire him. He's had immense success here. Now, not a lot lately, but they're very loyal to their head coaches. So it never, in my opinion, made sense for him to leave for one of those jobs. However, I think it is interesting that at least one major college program, according to Carson Palmer, thought of all the NFL head coaches – maybe we can talk Mike Tomlin into coming here. That's interesting to me. Mm -hmm. You know, whether they're delusional or not, like the fact that they picked him of all the NFL coaches to be the one that might actually make the jump, whether Tomlin actually wants to do it or not, is interesting. One to guy me, who, who his name is in there as well, and he's uh, the Penn State University head coach, 
James Franklin, yep. he had a totally different answer when asked about it today. Uh, kind of gave what you would expect him to give, but it wasn't the answer that I expected because of his <laughs> self uh, anointed way of looking at uh, games. 1 0, 1 0, 1 0. We're focused this week, this week, but he had the wrong team this week. We'll talk about that and more when we come <laughs> back. We invite your phone calls as well as 412 575 2600. That's the number of the Board of Supporters hotline. And we trust that we'll get some of those on tonight. Call us, air your opinions right here live on Pittsburgh CW. Thank you.